want to bring on the miracle recipient here. And I'm going to have her to tell you in her own words what God did to her, what the doctors could not have done. Amen. I find that people might abuse you and think what they want to think about you. God loved it that way because it's a precious in the sight of the Lord, it's the death of his saints. So when you find yourself under persecution and all that, remember that God says, do it into a green tree. Think about what they will do about it in the dry tree. You and I were the dry tree, you know. So we get the substance from him. And if you kill the source, then everything is going to fail. But he showed us through his death that no one can cut off our source. Yes. Let me hear you say, my source. My source. No one can cut off that source. No. The only time that can be cut off is when we choose not to continue into that source. Amen. 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 And again, I am happy that I am saved. Yes. Truly, truly happy. Yes. Because what God did then, at the time when he saved me, he had a plan for this chapter of scripture. He had a plan and it took many years before he bring that out because I was always praising and praying to God, asking God, God, I would love, I mean, I pray for people, people get healed, but there was one thing that I wanted from God more than anything else was for me to stay at a distance and pray for people. Yes. And the word yes. changed yes. everything. It happened a number of times, but this time it happened so much, it happened directly in our church. And so I'm going to ask Sister Laura, will you please come up here? Come on, sweetheart, you come on up. You're looking at a living, walking in your Take your hands up. Bring her up here. Bring her up here. Let her hold on to that mic. Yeah. I want you to hear it in her own words. Because what I'm trying to say to the church is this. Yeah. The Lord said this kind can only be done through. Yeah. Stop pleasing ourselves and start pleasing Him, then we start to see, oh God, react to us. Sister Laura, tell the church what happened to you just a few days ago. Church, Sister Laura, read. on September 8th, I was at work. I woke in the ICU in the hospital and I felt my leg was hurting, but I did not make anything out of it. My nurses checked my, my temp, my blood pressure. It was okay. But apparently something worse was happening to me that I did not know. At the end of my shift, I was trying to climb up into the garage. Then I realized I could not lift my left leg. And I prayed to God, I said to God, I am getting in this vehicle, just take me home. Because I wanted to go home so my husband could take me to the emergency room, even though my hospital is a strong hospital, but I wanted to be closer home. And I drove my vehicle, it's like half an hour away from my house. I don't think I drove that vehicle home by myself. The angel of the Lord drove that vehicle because I could not feel my left side of my body. He took me to the hospital, they ran different tests, and the MRI showed that I had a bleed in my brain. I suffered a stroke. 
It would happen on Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday during the day, I could not close my, my left hand. On Monday morning, my daughter came. She tried to close, help me close my hand, make a piece, I could not. I called Bishop and I said I could not close my hand, I cannot make a fist. He prayed with me. When he was finished, he said, make a fist. And I closed my hand. I was so glad that there was a witness. My daughter was a witness. Don't we? Amen. 
Because if you keep on praying and praying and praying and you see nothing happen, then you're going to start wondering, am I really praying right now? Yes. No. Nothing is wrong with him who listens to our prayer. The problem is we who send the prayer. Amen. 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 Oh, Spirit of God. Amen. 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 So we all glory to God. Let's go now into Mark 3 again. Let's see what it says here. If we say anything different from what it said before. And he entering, and he entered again into the synagogue. That's where he had most of his problem. In the place where he worshiped. And thinking about that, you look. The building. They worship the building more than they worship the God that they claim to worship. Because they introduced the building to Jesus telling him, Oh, look at the beautiful building we have. The Lord said, look, the time is coming when not one stone is going to be left. He didn't tell him when and how it was going to happen. Amen. But anyway, let's move on. And there was a man there which had a withered hand. And we know that we want both hands and legs to be working. Amen. I don't want to make a choice in this. But I'd rather have my hands working. I want to have all of them working now, don't get me wrong. But the hands is very vital because the healing comes through the hand. Are you hearing me? Jesus stretched forth his hand and he healed them. He never used his feet. But the feet have to bring the hand. Yeah. So they got to work together. Yeah. In unison. Are you with me? Yeah. Andrea, take it away from me. Yeah. And they watched him. Yeah. Whether he would heal on the Sabbath day. Yeah. That they might accuse him. Yeah. 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 There are always somebody looking for a reason to accuse you. They are listening for a word or they are looking for an action that they can use that very same good that you do and turn it around and make it look evil. Do you understand? But the Lord warned everybody is a woe be unto them that call good, evil, and evil good. He said, don't matter what they say about you, say, you just keep right on preaching. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Because you have a reward that they can't stop. Nobody can block your reward, whatever God pronounced on you. Because the scripture says, death and life is in the power of the tongue. So when we're going to speak, we have to speak life. And I speak life into the hand, the fingers that was dead, that would not move. And the Lord resurrect those fingers. Let me hear some resurrect. Resurrect. The scripture also say, Though the old world man perish, yet we are renewed in the inner man day by day. So we wake up with a new beginning today. Did you hear me? We wake up with what? A new beginning. Because today was not promised to us, you know. Amen. Amen. So that's what makes it so new. Oh, I'm so happy every time we turn around, we see the sunshine. Yeah. And anytime the sunshine gone away, we feel a little bit sad. Our face yeah. become dreary, don't it? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah, but there you, you see, that's what the Lord tests us. To see if we're going to still have that smile in the rain. Yeah. Smiling in the rain. Yeah. Oh, some people call it some names they don't want to. Can't repeat it up here. You can't repeat it nowhere. They can't stop it from falling and they can't make it fall. But they have always fought, they want to fall, fine with it. And anyhow the Lord decides not to send any water down here, everybody start looking for water someplace. And that's how we go looking for salvation. The woman at the well, she didn't come looking for salvation. But the well was right there waiting for her. You're not listening to me. The well was right there waiting for her. So when she came, and decided to go to draw the water. Now when the Lord said to her, give me the drink. But you know the whole story already. Isn't that so? 
But eventually when she got a real taste of the living water, it didn't come from any of the man that she was married to. They couldn't produce that kind of water. You're not listening to me. They couldn't produce that kind of water that all oh, spirit of God. She needed the water of salvation. She needed a refreshing soul. She needed her soul to be revived. Spirit of God. And eventually, she got more than she had asked for. And we know the rest of the story. And she didn't hesitate. He said, if I may lift it up, I'll draw a man unto me. And she went, just one person went into a city and bring her a whole city. I will draw all men. And he pulled the whole city with one adulteress. He used one adulteress. To bring the whole city. Yes. But he cleansed her before she went. Yes. Oh, she received the word. Yes. Isn't this the Christ? Come see a man. Yes. Just the mention of his name. Yes. He changed everything. Yes. Amen. So let's go on prayer. Bless God. And he stretched it out. And his hand was restored whole as to the other. His hand was restored Oh, that's the other. We are at the third verse now. Yes. And Ray go to the third verse. And he said unto the man. And he said unto the man, which had the withered hand, stand forth. Amen. And he said unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath day or to do evil? Yes. To save life or to kill? But they held their peace. They had to because they could not do that. Yes. Because they're guilty. Amen. They're guilty of the same thing they accuse them of. Yes. They feel to themselves that because they are the law, they can break the law and have no one to answer to. Yet everybody can answer to them and everybody sit down and can't say nothing even though they know they're wrong. And they say, oh Lord have mercy. They say, Lord have mercy. Even though, are you with me here today? Even though they know that they, 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 they're advocates of the law, the law, everything stopped with them. So now, the scripture is saying that they love the praise of man than of God. Now, if you mention anything other than that, the law agree with, they put you out of the synagogue. Jesus healed one. And when Jesus healed the man, he didn't know who it was that healed. And the question, who was it that healed? We're still in the scripture here, right? Yes, yes, yes. He said he don't know. Some man did it. Yes. And Jesus warned him, said, listen, now that you're healed, don't sin again or else a worse thing will come upon you. Finally, <laughs> Jesus went to him and talked with him somewhat. And the man told the Jews, the Pharisees, that it was Jesus who had healed him. Oh Lord, that was a red flag that went up. Not him again. Not him again. Oh, if we please I turn this guy's right, there is always something to oppose the law. But Jesus told them, he said, look, today the scripture is fulfilled in your ears. That was when he came back from the mountain being tempted by the devil. And when he went into the synagogue and they handed him the book. And then he read Isaiah 61. Anybody have that scripture? The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, 
and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. This is the prophecy of Isaiah. Now Jesus is the fulfillment of that prophecy. Am I right here? Talk to me. Oh, let me show you now. It's going to say here in Luke 4, 21. And he began to say unto them, This day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. Yeah. They didn't know that he is the scripture. He said, he, he said, Behold, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I am the scripture. Yeah. I am the Lord of the Sabbath. Yeah. The same Sabbath that you're worshiping and killing people that don't worship on the Sabbath day. And you have a and what do you know? You have people come knocking on the door, waiting on the street, telling you, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. We keep the Sabbath. We don't have to keep the day. We keep the Sabbath. Because if there wasn't a Sabbath, there couldn't be a day. Are you paying attention? Yes, sir. If there was not a Sabbath, there could not be a day. Remember the word Sabbath came before day? Look at the scriptures. Remember the Sabbath. And in the day. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So what happened to the rest of the week? Shouldn't we be holy every day? Isn't that what's the requirement? This is the day that the Lord has made. Which day is it? Any day. Every day. It is a requirement. Because the same work that he did during the week, he did it on the Sabbath day. Because the word of God is not bound, and no one can bound the spirit of God because that's where we get our liberty. Oh, Lord. oh glory to God, glory to God. And all hear him witness and wonder that the gracious words which proceed, the word is proceed. Every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The words that proceed out of his mouth. He tell the devil that. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds. So look at the word proceed over there. And he come over here and the scripture fulfilling your ear. And they speak of all gracious words proceeded out of his mouth. They said, is not this Joseph's son? Now that is that's, that is what happened to them. When the people get used to you, they can identify you anytime. Yes. 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 Because they know what family you come from. Yes. But they don't know that the Lord had a king in the family too. Yes. The Lord God had a king in the house of Jesse. Yes. Are you with me? Are we worshiping you today? Yes. The Lord had a king in the house of Jesse. Jesse had a king in his family. Yes. Jesse was the father of a king and he never knew it. The little boy who just seemed to think that he was too rude and too rowdy. He's always getting into mischief. He wasn't afraid to stand up against the beer. The, you know, he watched the sheep and he protected them. None of the big brothers wouldn't go there and do it. They'd put it in the little boy. He's the one that would sweep the house and all the rest of it. Hey man, you're not listening. The king. <laughs> the king was in the field when they had him out. And well, you don't you know you're around there with them sheep and all the rest of it, you know, you're not gonna stand too good. No, good. No. Did you understand what? Yes, you're not gonna smell too good. But it didn't matter the smell. To him the sheep was precious. Yes. And we know the whole story coming down when Samuel came to anoint the king. But he wanted to anoint a king. Did you hear? He come, he come to anoint a king. But he had to anoint the king. 
So it come down to all of who he wanted to anoint, they were not the chosen one. Then the Lord had a little conversation with Samuel. He said, listen. Man look at the old world appearance. But I look at their heart. God looking at their heart. So I'm not looking at the military training that, you, that those, those guys have. This is a technical thing and they don't understand what's going on. I want somebody that is young that I can talk to. They don't have to talk about the degrees that they have. Are you hearing me? They don't have any degree. They have their degree. God don't want nobody with degree. He wants one a willing heart, a heart that is humble. Are you hearing me? You know, so I go up here and never tell you what degree I have. I don't have any. It is the gift of God that you can't buy the gift of God. Amen. Amen. So David never knew what was going on all of that time. God had, his, had him on his mind. God speak of him. He had him on his mind. He said, now, send and get him. What does this have, what, what does this have to do with what we're reading? You'll find out in a moment. Go and get him. And he comes. You see, when the Lord said, man look at the old world appearance, that's what get a lot of people in serious trouble. You want to hear some of the trouble too? The pastor come up and he started to preach and he started to preach and push down people and he pray for them and people say, this man has got God power and everybody want to marry to him. And they join, they join the line and everything. But you notice that Jesus never tell them to join any line over here. Jesus never charge any money for the healing. He just tell the man to stretch the hand. In order for obedience, he receives his healing. The gospel is built upon obedience. Faith works in obedient vessel. Because obedience means clean. Amen. Clean. The heart is clean. Nothing, no animosity in there. So, Samuel was looking at the belt on the outside. Very impressive. Oh, but this little rowdy boy, this little brat, he came. The anointing was for him. Yeah, when the anointing is for you, nobody cannot stop it. Yes, nobody cannot stop it. Yes, God don't take hearsay from nobody. Yes, nobody can carry no story. Come and give to God concerning anybody. Yes, Hallelujah. So God stepped Samuel. Why? Because the spirit, we walk by faith and not by sight. Samuel was walking in the sight, though he was a holy was still man. But God was showing him that don't, when you look at things from the side of the eye, you're gonna love it. You're gonna feel good about it. Oh Lord, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're going on. The counter son. The counter son don't have any education. He don't have any doctorate degree. He's just a carpenter, so he's poor. So his parents cannot afford him to high school, or to college, or to university. Like our brother Paul, that was Saul. He had all that. But then when he found out, that there was more to life other than degree. He said, all these things that I have acquired, I call them dumb. Just to gain the excellency of the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, going to come. Oh, going to Philippians 3. You'll see all about it over there. Amen. Oh, Spirit of God. And he's so wonderfully, wonderfully happy that he said, look, for 
for me to live. But for me to die. Are you paying attention here, church? Amen. You make the connection here? <laughs> the carpenter's son. Mary's boy. Son of David. And all that they call him, they call him the name that become in the flesh. Jesus, the name of the flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is the name of the mortal flesh of our Lord. But the name Christ, they could not mention because they didn't know because that name come by revelation. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That name come by revelation. It is God's top secret. When he came into Caesarea Philippi, he asked him the question, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And everybody started guessing one of the prophets, etc., 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 but who do you say that I, the son of man, am? He said, thou art the Christ. The son of the... Let me say, living God. And then when he took them up on the mountain and revealed who Christ is to them, when they saw him with Moses and Elijah standing up, he was transformed right before the eyes and they couldn't look at him, they had to bow. They couldn't look with the natural eyes, they had to close their eyes in fear of the glory that they saw. So he is walking glory. They were looking at glory but they could not see it because he wear a mask, he wear a shroud, the shroud of flesh. The shroud of flesh, like your beautiful suit here, is a shroud over your body. But when you remove it, you see the real you. Amen! Oh. Amen! And even when they strip him of his clothes, they still could not see his glory. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, not handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. That is to say the way in which we live. The life we live is our testimony. Yes. Amen. So we can't be one thing at home and another thing when you come on the street. If you're a pig at home, you've got to be a pig on the street too. Amen. And if you're a sheep at home, you're a sheep on the street. Because sheep don't change. Apple don't change from apple to grapefruit. Are you paying attention here? Grapes don't change to give up. trespasses and sin wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the year the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in time past we did everything that this old nature used to do we had a boss that used to tell us what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Yes, sir. 
And even if we have to hide and do it, then we we'll still go ahead and do it and do it wrong. Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. All right, continue. So we're talking about stripping us down. The Lord had us to lose his son's blood to bring us back because we were so badly stained. No tide, no, no, what do you call it? No, bleach, no chloride, bleach could remove our sin. Scarlet. Are you paying attention? And his blood. So when we speak of the blood, we can't just say, the blood of Jesus. No, 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 no. The blood of Jesus is like the water we drink to quench our thirst. It's something we need. Continue reading. Really. Fulfilling our desires. Fulfilling our desires. Our desire at any cost. And how did I do that? Oh, Lord, don't let me go there. Go on. Of the flesh and of the mind. Of the what? The flesh and of the so mind. So it was all about the flesh. And the scripture said, no flesh shall glory in the presence of the Lord. And were by nature the children of wrath. By nature the children, the of, wrath. children of wrath. That mm -hmm. means we hold a grudge. We hold a grudge of morning, noon and night and even if there was something else in between. We hold that grudge. I will never forgive him for this and that. And you just don't do some serious trouble to somebody else. Yes. Amen. Help us now. I will, I, am I in the right church? Let's start. Yes. Huh? I am gonna, I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to bring it to you because somebody has to make you understand that Pastor Sam is not the only one that is carrying this, this cross. No. If any man will come after me, let him what? Deny himself, take up his cross daily. And follow. Daily. Let me show you something right here. Where are you, Andrea? We're going back to the next one there. Yes, sir. In Jeremiah 9 and the 22nd verse. Yes. Who tell you about it? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah 9 and the 22nd verse. Yes, sir. Yes, that's a surprise. Oh, my, that's a very good surprise. Oh, I don't wonder I'm coming. I am coming back down here tomorrow. <laughs> Jeremiah 9 says here, in the 23rd verse, Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glory glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. That I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Amen. 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 I want the church to talk with me. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. You want to hear that? You want to understand that? I will punish them. That is an equally yoked. I will punish them, that is, unequally yoked. The circumcised with the uncircumcised. You gotta separate them, don't it? Let's read the 26 verse and, and pray. Jeremiah 9, verse 26, and Egypt and, e and Judah and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab and all that are in the uttermost corners that dwell in the wilderness for all these nations are uncircumcised. And all the house of Israel is uncircumcised in the heart. So unless we get the circumcision in their heart, which is done through the operation of God. We're still not safe as yet. You can baptize as much as you like, but you're still not safe. You've got to get a circumcision. Because when that circumcision hit the heart, it takes care of the whole body. That's why Jeremiah had a problem. He could not figure it out when he said, Oh Lord, you have deceived me, and I was just, I am deceived. 
And I say I will not mention your name anymore. But there was uh, something happening inside of me like fire showed up in my mouth. You got to get the fiery circumcision in the heart. And whatever happened to the heart it affect the body. Oh, shout hallelujah. Oh, spirit of God. Amen. It's not about jumping off here and jumping on top of the bench and running around like a chicken without a head cut off. It's about letting people know where the sin lodge. The sin lodge in their heart. And God is the only one that can do the operation to remove the sin out of their heart. So now when you establish in faith, that means you and God is walking together. Because the just shall live by faith and the walk by faith and not by sight. Let the church run. Hallelujah. 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 It's a rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as he have been taught, abounding therein with, with thanksgiving. Go on to the eighth verse. Uh, Beware, be lest any man spoil you with through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not of the Christ. So you've got to make sure you stay out of the, 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 the make-believe. Yes. Don't let nobody come and come tell you when the preacher have a piece of paper up here with a whole epistle, and they keep turning page to page, and this means that in, in Greek and all kind of trust. We don't speak Greek! So I can't speak what the Holy Ghost don't give me. Amen. 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 They, they have to make up a story and bring to you to make it sound like they're doing something. The Lord tells us in prayer that this kind going back out, but by prayer and fasting. Nobody wants to fast. All they want to do is go and buy books in the bookstore and come back and write down notes and come all oh Lord God and come back and read the agenda. I'm glad I'm in this church.
And we are complete in him. We are complete. And God made Sister Laura to be complete once more. Because when I speak the word, the kingdom heard. Thy will be done in earth. Whatever the battle on earth is done in heaven. What the lose on earth is lose in heaven. Because they give us the authority. So you've got to speak in the name of the Lord. Oh, Spirit of God, continue. Which is the head of all principles. Which is the head of all? Principality and power. Why? Because there is no higher power yes, Lord. than that of God. Amen. Because it says, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my, and glory. my glory I will not give unto another, neither my praise to praise. praise in him again. Bless the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Read the yes. scripture. In whom also ye are circumcised. Now is the part I'm going to bring it to you. The circumcision is about to take place. You remember what he did to Saul when he was on his way down to Damascus to kill off more Christians? He had us to go to get a piece of paper to give him that authority from the paper written and signed and sealed by the so-called high priest. But we have a high priest that can that that can always be, touch, be touched with, uh, the, with, with the feeling of our infirmity. Yes, yes, yes. But when this our high priest saw what Saul was about to go and do more damage, he gave him enough rope and he's about time to stop. Yes. Now I'm gonna circumcise your heart. And did you notice that when he called up to Saul, Saul failed. For the fact, the, 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 the light came first. Because nobody can do surgery in darkness. So the Lord is about to do a surgery. Open, in open, open heart surgery. Right there in the eyes of everybody. But they couldn't see what was taking place inside. Because they didn't see no doctor with no mask around him face. And a long gone, right? Then who would hear anybody who come in the house of God and call himself doctor? <laughs> oh, you come with a doctor and degree. Everybody else gets salvation, but you get doctor and degree. <laughs> Not even Jesus don't have the degree. And if you don't have it and you don't give it at me, don't work nothing. <laughs> that is secular. Yes. You can't take secular things and bring up and claim and try to make come. You can't mix it like you be rum and coke. You can't put, you can't get the rum and put the coca cola in the rum and coke. Is it a rum or coke? In whom? We are circumcised with the circumcision made with our hands in the putting off of the body of sin of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. That was the circumcision that took place when the Lord stopped him on the way to Damascus. Yes. Who art thou, Lord? From the time he said, I am Jesus, the heart was circumcised. Right. From the mention Jesus, the circumcision took place just like that. And then the Lord had a conversation with him and gave him the direction. And he followed the direction. But guess what happened? Up until today, nobody don't see that letter that he was carrying, you know. Because the light, the light disintegrated. The light burning up. Oh Lord, continue reading. Buried with him in baptism. Buried with him. In so listen, don't take your baptism for granted. Because every time you enter into the baptismal pool, that water you go into, you enter into the body of Christ. Because the out of his side come the water and their blood. You walk right into his body. Go on. Wherein also he are risen with him. You hear? Through Buried the... and risen. Yes. Oh Lord have mercy. Come on. Through the faith of the operation of God. Through the what? The faith. Of the operation of God. This, uh, uh, 
Let's go back. <laughs> Let's go back to Corinthians. I'm going to wrap it up. Second Corinthians. I'm going to wrap it up right here. Amen. Let's go back to the first one. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry through the apparition, hello? Seeing now that we have this ministry through the apparition of God, this ministry. So we could not get this ministry unless we had the operation. You have to take on the appendix first. You have to take on the chance out of the heart. Yes. Yes. And if the heart is clean, then the whole body is clean. Yes. The body becomes sanctified. Yes. So it's through the operation of God why we have this ministry. Yes. So we can't go to any school and go sit over in any classroom and somebody on some blackboard charging you how much is that? God help us if you don't have the money to pay your cat for there. But thanks be to God if I have a dollar I can come in and join the offering and still have a sad time in the church. Amen! Yes, sir. Yes, The second verse, but have renounced the hidden things. The Lord go right in the heart and take out the hidden things of his honesty. Ah, blessed God, to the operation. Yes, Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, yes. but my manifestation of the truth. Manifestation of the truth. Yes. Commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Now, I love this part now. Listen to this one. Go to that little verse there, right here. The but, verse. if our gospel be it, it is hid to them that are lost. Yes. It is hid from them that is in darkness. Because when you're in darkness, you'll be lost. If you're driving on the road and your light cut off, you better stop right there. If you're walking in the dark and you don't know where you're going, of course, you're used to the place, that's a different story. But if you're going there for the first time and you find that you don't have no light, you better make sure you find somebody that have a light. Oh Lord, help us. Help us. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. It is hid from them which are lost. Yes. In whom? In whom what? Go on. The God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe. Those intellectual preachers. Them that come with a doctorate degree. The Holy Ghost don't mix his anointing with doctorate degree. The Holy Ghost is exclusive. If I wasn't another time in my time pass, it wouldn't be here. I'd be something. I'd be something, something else. I would be something, something different. Oh Lord, help me, Jesus. I wouldn't want to mention some of the right now because I want to. I want to carry on God's work. Carry yeah. on. But I don't. I, and such was some of you. Yes, but we are washed. But you are washed. Yes. But you are sanctified. Yes. But you are justified in the name of the Lord. Yes. You know how it feels good to me to be able to stand up here feeling good and comfortable knowing that I'm not here as a fake. No. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So now you find that the gods of this world don't want to come near to this light because it is going to expose them. Yes. Amen. Amen. And guess what? We are vessels of vision. Yes. We are vessels of vision. Where there is no vision, the people. 
So the Lord put his vision in us the same time that he did the operation. So we don't walk like fools anymore. Because the just shall live by faith. And in faith you get vision. And if you don't have the vision, you can't have the revelation. And if you don't have the manifestation, you cannot prophesy. For we preach the not ourselves. No, yes, we preach not ourselves. It's not I. Oh, I have, you know, I've gone to Billy Graham Bible Church School. Oh, I've gone to Horan Roberts Bible College. And I got this. All of those people get all the, all of them get something like, oh, Lord, help me. What about the cross? What about the cross? Take up your cross daily. They don't talk like people that's carrying the cross. They talk like people that is above the cross. You can go there and die with the cross. I don't have to I can give you money. The scripture. But Christ Jesus the Lord and ourselves, your servants you for Jesus' sake. Servants. That's the title that we have. The title of a servant. Shepherds are servants. Carry on. For God who commanded the light to shine on the darkness. Now this is the beauty. Now this light go right into our heart. This is the light that do the operation. What the see is the, the light is so quick and so powerful that it severed the heart. Yes. God did the operation. Oh. The light, he used the light. Did you ever notice when he used the light and split a tree? You ever watch a lightning split a tree? Which man can take a house and split a tree like that? So if God was to do that splitting with that lightning to us, we wouldn't be alive now, would we? But thank God for the Holy Spirit. Yes. Oh, Lord have mercy. You remember he said he will purge us and he will baptize us with the Holy Ghost and with fire. That is where the operation is here. That's the operation he's talking about. He baptized us now, not in the physical form, but in the spiritual form. That is what happened to Paul. Paul got that baptism before they dip him in water. Did you know that? Because his heart was already circumcised. So if he died at the same time, he would make it to the kingdom. So anybody come telling you, if you're baptizing Father, Son, or Holy Ghost, you're baptizing the wrong name. If anybody wrong, it's them because they don't know him up from down. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is one word, faith. Faith. One word, faith. Let me put it another way. If Jesus is wrong, I am going to be wrong too. Yes. Continue. And shine in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory that of God. That was the light that went into his heart. So when he got back up, he was able to tell the Jews, tell the Pharisees that Jesus is the Christ. Yes. That is in the Acts. That's in Acts. You go to the Acts and you find that. Amen. There's a whole other thing that we need to grow in. Grow in grace. Go on to the reading. We're going to wrap it up. In the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Yes. That That's why we have to keep the earthen vessel clean. That's why the Lord could not put the salvation into the same path with that woman with the water and the well. He couldn't put it in there. He had to put it into her heart. And she couldn't put it in there herself. Oh Lord, you're not here. Alright, you, you want me to show you the same mystery? Watch this mystery. They run out of wine at the margin came. And he tells his disciples, when well, they said they didn't have any mother, they want to come to him and say to him, they don't have no wine, the wine finish, and they need wine because the party is still going on. He said, now take the pot and go fill them with water. Yes. Now listen, if you notice and look carefully, it is the em it was the empty pot. Yes. They bring the water into it. Right? Yes. Everybody saw that. Yes. 
Did you see anybody bringing any grape come to him? No. No grape? No. You didn't see any grape? No. But he tell them to draw the water. Yes. Go draw the wine and give to them. Yes. Give them to drink. Now if they didn't want pure water that have no flavor, then they wouldn't ask for water. They wouldn't ask for wine. They would be asking for wine. But they wanted wine. Jesus gives them the eternal wine. The wine that never make you drunk. It don't give you a hangover. It just gives you a smiling spirit. And yet sometimes it make you laugh and sometimes it make you cry. It may set your sinful soul on fire. Hallelujah when God the pain in your heart. Amen. Are we in the same way? Okay, we're going to wrap it up now. Come on, let's go soon. That the excellency of the power may be of God. The excellency. The yes. excellency of the power. May be of God. And this is not a doctorate degree. No. And not of us. Go on. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest. Manifest in our, in our what? In our body. In our body. So wait a minute now. I want to talk to some folks about the body. We cannot go and decorate our bodies and come back and tell the world that we are the image of Christ. Amen. Because Christ's body is pure. Amen. Amen. His body is not decorated with nothing fancy. It's not decorated with anything artificial. Jesus don't wear artificial fingernails. Amen. Now extended eyelash. And the list goes on and on and on. Listen to me here. I'm glad I'm not preaching man's doctrine because if, if I was preaching man's doctrine, everybody would be jumping up in the air right now. Go on. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Into our mortal flesh. Wait a minute, you know something? So, Continue reading. So then, death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. Know that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus, and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. Stop right there for the 18th verse. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So when you hear people talk about contemporary, that's what they are. Temporal. Contemporary. Contentious. Now let me close with Job. Job 4. Start at the four, start at the twelfth verse. Start at the twelfth verse. And we stop at the end, twenty-one. Let's read. Now a thing was secretly brought to me, and mine here receive a little thereof. In thoughts from the visions of the And the word is vision. Things that are not revealed to the eyes of man, but to the one person to whom the Lord chose to show it to. Things that he would not show to the world. That's why he took his disciples apart every time and he talked to them. He trained them himself. Yes. Continue. When deep sleep falleth on man, fear came upon me. Wait a minute. 
Who can talk to a never seen this place when we're in deep sleep? We react foolishly, don't it? Oh yes. You you don't know where you, where did I put my, my where did I put my glasses? Where, 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 where? Wake you out of sleep suddenly. But when God come to us in a sleep, He put us in a state like He put Adam. Put them to sleep. Like the doctor did when I do surgery. You get the anesthesia and you're out cold. And then now you can't ask that doctor, what are you doing? You go from one room to another and then you go back to another you wake up into another room. Some people wake up into the morgue. <laughs> Did you understand? Yes. Some people wake up in the day? More. More. They wake up there. But they never really wake. I did use that word to let you know that when we're in a sleep, we're in a state of death. Yes. Continue reading and pray. Fear came upon me and trembled, which made all my bones to shake. Then a spirit passed by my face. The ear of my flesh stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern the form. The word earth. is what? Discern. Discern. Vision to discern. We receive vision to discern. That's how we prophesy. Out of vision, because we discern through the revelation yes. that is given. Amen. Can the church say amen? Amen. amen. Continue reading. An image was before mine eyes. There was silence, and I heard a voice saying, Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants, and his angels he charged with folly. How much less is then that dwell in the house of clay, whose foundation is in the dust? So, the house of clay. What is the house of clay? That's right. He said we're from the dust. And to the dust we shall return. So this house that we have, we are showing off. Lord help me. Who can strut the stuff more? Who can put the gold teeth into the mouth? <laughs> All of these things that we look at and we see, we are something. My God help us. Can you imagine that we, the Lord promised to beautify the meek with salvation, but no, but nobody wants to repent. Did you hear me? The Lord promised to beautify the meek with salvation, but nobody wants to repent. God don't move fast enough, so I got to use some, to use an alternate, alternate beauty. Alternate beauty. We've seen it all over the place. You see, the Lord called me to be a minister of the gospel, you know. And he takes note of the life that I used to enjoy. So if I talk about it, nobody can accuse me of throwing word at them because you don't want me to do some of the stuff that I used to do. All right? As a matter of fact, I'm older than some of you here. That means I was sitting long before you were born. So my sin was higher than yours? God, you're not listening to me. I had more sin more than you. <laughs> Think about that. So you can't accuse me. Oh, you're coming and show word and I didn't come to come through. No, I come to preach the word of God. He that have ears to hear, let him hear. Read the scripture for Go on to Praise God. Thank you, Lord. How much less is them that dwell in house of clay, yes. whose foundation is in the dust, which are crushed before the moth. They are destroyed from morning to evening. They perish forever without any regarding it. Doth not their excellency which is in them go away? They die even without wisdom. They die even without wisdom. Let the church show now the Hallelujah. If you have been blessed, give God a loud shout of hallelujah. hallelujah. And give him a hearty hand clap. Amen. 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 